Left the big city for the simple country life Found myself a woman that it took for me to be my way I was working on the ground come a sun up to sun time Hey, I'm trying to make a reputation for a man inside this town Hard as I try, maybe I just can't I ain't no up and kind of leaving me She kissed me one time and she took my heart Baby, you can love me, you can leave me I'm a honky-tonk star Yeah, I'm a honky-tonk star Well, working three jobs, living out of a car Mama never told me life would get this hard Running around the world playing my guitar Baby, you can love me, you can leave me I'm a honky-tonk star Yeah, I'm a honky-tonk star Like a cigarette or a line of paint on a private jet. I gave them good love and like they won't forget. Maybe good Lord knows what time it is. Hard as I try, maybe I just can't. I ain't no up and kind of leaving me. She kissed me one time and she took my heart. Maybe you can love me. Well, hey there, welcome back to Elk Mountain. We're here about to fertilize field four here. Back here on field four. These guys down here at the Elk Mountain Ranch seem to need a lot of help. Ended up getting a call from Cliff down there at the feed store. Uh, he had got a contract to do some fertilizing for these guys and had the truck ready, had the fertilizer already in it, and one of his employees that he had lined up to do it ended up having a personal emergency, had to run home, so... He knew that I had just been out here doing some contract work of my own. So he gave me a call and offered me the work. So I jumped on it. Uh, it's easy money here. Already had the equipment available. And so good to help folks out when they need it. Because you never know when you may need some help. So hopefully uh, this helps Cliff out. And we'll get this contract knocked out here. Pays pretty decent, so this will help the bank account. Uh, one thing uh, that I did decide to start working on is taking down some old fencing. Uh, when we get back to the farm, after we get done with this contract, I'm going to take you over and take a look at what I have planned. Uh, since I can't really do any planting right now, I want to start working on some fence. Try and spiff up the place and see if we can't make it look a little better and also started looking at the old silo there uh, that is across the field uh, by the little hay corral and I got to thinking it may be able to be salvaged so we're gonna look into that uh, I do have some old straw bales there in the corral that we can maybe try and load up and take off get a little bit of money and then we're gonna tear down that corral and uh, do a little reconfiguring over on that side of the farm but we'll take a look at that when we get done here uh, this won't take too long I don't believe hopefully Cliff got the right amount of fertilizer in here and we don't run out but we'll knock this out here real quick we'll drop this truck back off at the seed store and get over to the house and we'll take a look at the fencing well working three jobs living out of the car mama never told me life would get this hard run around the world playing my guitar baby you can love me you can leave me i'm a honky-tonk star yeah i'm a honky-tonk star i'm a honky-tonk star lord i'm a honky-tonk star Mama never told me life would get this hard 
running around the world playing my guitar. Baby, you can love me, you can leave me, I'm a honky tonk star. Yeah, a honky tonk star. Just made it back here to the seed store here. I'm going to park the spreader here in the back. There is some uh, fertilizer left there. And uh, what Cliff's going to do is he's going to have one of the guys tomorrow uh, scoop that out, get it out of there, and bag it up for me. He's going to have it uh, because I ended up having that come out of the cut that I got for this contract. So I uh, paid about 11000 but been a few thousand in fertilizer so not a huge check but not too bad I'll take it every little bit helps at this point so we're just gonna go right across here right across the road I want to show you what I have in mind and let me get across here without having a wreck I'm gonna drive down here So all of this fencing along the front of the property here is not the best to look at. I do think that it could be improved. Oh, I just drove right under that guy wire there. That was not smart. So we do have a little entrance over here. And it's a little bit narrow. So one thing I want to do is I want to get... See how old this fencing is, this old barbed wire fencing? It just, it just does not add any curb appeal to the property. And we got a lot of bushes along here. So what I'm thinking about doing is getting some of this fencing taken down. Probably start right here around this entrance. And then work our way back over here. Let me uh, jog back here. I'll show you something. Alright, so right back here, there are some stakes that they put in when they surveyed the property. After we bought it, well, let me find it. It's somewhere back here. Where are the state? Oh, there they are. Right out in front of me. So you see here we have some survey stakes, survey markers. And so if we look back this way, that's about the property line. But you see, the fence actually continues down there. So I don't know if at one time this property was over here was owned by this farm as well. But the fence goes down here and it's not doing me any good. So what I want to do is we're going to break the fence down here somewhere. And uh, clean it up. Get the fence gone. Uh, for now, uh, at some point we'll probably put some more fence back up. Uh, maybe if we decided to get some animals may look at, at doing something there but then here along this property line we could put some fencing back down this way to divide this property so something I want to do and then let's go back up here I want to show you also what we're going to do today as well is you see those straw bales there old straw bales that were here when I bought the property uh, they're just sitting there I don't know if they're any good um, I'm going to try and load those up and then get them sold. Uh, actually, Cliff over there at the seed store, they buy hay. So they also buy straw, I believe. So we'll just run it across the road there and get that sold. And then this little corral here that's set up here with these boards and posts, we're going to tear that down as well. Because I think what we can do is retrofit this silo here to actually make it uh, a fermenting silo. Uh, we've got all of the foundation here. We just need to add a few little features. So we're going to see what we can do here. If we can get some parts and uh, clean that up. That may not be something I do right away. But I think that's something that I can get done. Uh, I was looking around. And I think there are some retrofit kits I can get to fix this silo up. So we're going to do that at some point in the future. I may not be right away. But we'll get that done. So let me run back over to the farm. I'm going to grab the skid steer and get the trailer. First thing I'll do is go ahead and load these bales up. And then we'll get to work on the fencing. I 
I better go ahead and get a couple straps on here before we get those last few bells on there. Working through pretty good. I ended up having to buy a bell spear because, well, I didn't have one. I thought the grapple may work, but it would not grab onto the bell, so ran down to the shop, grabbed the bell spear. And here we are, nearly done loading this trailer. It's actually gone quite well. Uh, this little skid steer actually is really good at loading these bells. Tried to take my time and get them all as neat as I can. I know I don't have far to go, but I wanted to try and do a good job getting them stacked in here. Let me go ahead and throw on a couple straps there just in case something goes wrong. Got the last two bells here. And we'll have this trailer loaded. Ended up being 24 bells in this stack here. They're not huge bells, but it will bring a little bit of cash for us. This bell spear actually works really well, can grab two bells at one time. It's made loading this go fairly quickly. Alright, and there we go. Let me get the JCB turned off here. We'll throw on a strap there and a strap there. And we have a full trailer load of straw. So it is getting pretty late in the afternoon here. We're just going to run right across the road here and get these sold. See if I can get out of this gate without hitting the fence post there. I'm going to have to swing across the county right away here. Nothing's coming. I guess the tra traffic is dying down. Folks are getting home. Time to eat some dinner. Alright, let's pull in here and get these sold here. Hopefully make a little bit of money. There we go. A little over $7,000. So not a whole lot, but that was really just money sitting there in the yard that we were not using. So now what I can do is it's getting pretty late, so I'm not sure what I can get done here. We'll give it a shot here. We're going to hop in the skid steer and put the grapple back on. And I'm just going to go at the fence Go ahead and just rip it out and we'll get the debris from it piled up and hauled off. So let me get the truck pulled out of the way here and let's take a look at it. You know what, matter of fact, I think I'm going to wait on the fence. It's getting late. I think I can go ahead and get this crowl here knocked down. I'll just uh, get those boards taken down and pop the post out with the skid steer. And then that will be done there. And then maybe tomorrow I'll work on the fence. Well, let me knock some of these boards off here, grab the hammer, and get to it. Oh, 
Well, I got it done. Got the little bell corral here taken down. And we actually ended up getting some of the fence taken down. Out here by the road. Uh, we started down here at this post. And worked our way down back this way. You see we've got some of this fencing taken down. And I stopped right here at this post. It was getting dark. So we still have quite a bit more to go. But it's a start. And uh, some good progress for today. Having that hay corral down is going to help out with getting this silo retrofitted. If we can ever get enough money to do that. And then actually opens up some room here. In case we want to put something else in here. Or use it for something else. So I'm going to go ahead and get this loaded up here. We'll end up using it again, but I don't know if we'll be back on it doing this tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and put all this on the trailer here and just drive it back down to the house. I just got back down here to the house. I started hearing some shots over there across the, the river. Quite a few of them, actually. I'm not sure what's going on. It's definitely too late in the year to be doing any hunting here in the spring. That is very strange. Well, it's getting late. It's time to go rest. Let me close up these barn doors here. Well, I ended up going down to the shop this morning and buying a little cultivator. Got to looking at the crop calendar, the old farmer's almanac. And I should have already planted my corn. Did not realize that. So we got to get some cultivating done. So I picked up this little cultivator. It wasn't very expensive. So we're going to run down here to the build here this uh, one we mulched that had the cotton in it and try to do a little bit, a little bit of cultivating now the uh, dealer did say that should have about 140 horsepower to pull this thing but we're close so we may not pull it as fast as we could if we had the horsepower but it should pull it Although it is looking like it's struggling just a bit there. Well, this is going to be fun. That is not going very well at all. Oh boy. Should have listened to the guys down there at the dealership. Well, but we have it now, so we're going to try to make the best of it here. I believe I'm getting enough traction. It just doesn't have the power to pull it. Well, we'll go ahead and persevere through this. Try and make the best of it. And see what we can get done with this little cultivator. We're down to about $37,000. So I don't have a whole lot to work with here. I do want to save up. Make sure I have enough for seeds and fertilizer here coming up. So I may have to go run another contract. See if there's some other work around here. Or get lucky and find a bag of cash laying on the side of the road. Let's get some work done. Well, this ain't going to work. The old high crop here. Just doesn't have the oomph. We got a little bit of slip over there on the right side, but it is just not pulling this very well at all. I better stop before I overheat the engine and burn something up. Well, let's see. What do I do? Let me go see what I can do. I don't know that I made a very good decision. And walk up there to the house and see 
if I can figure something out. Well, I ended up having to call the shop and seeing what they had. Didn't know what else to do. So they actually have a tractor that they use uh, for rentals, actually. So we're going to run in here and pick this up. It's a little bit steep. Uh, it's about $2,000 for half a day. I thought that was a little bit high, but I am in a bind. So let me check in here and see what we got. Hey there, I am here to pick up the rental tractor. It is in the back lot, a uh, 7R. Okay, has a loader on it and is probably dirty. Okay, thanks a lot. All right, let's walk around here and see what we got. Boy, that's a big disc right there. Mercy. Got a couple tractors in the shop here. Dagelman disc they're working on. They do have quite a bit of stuff back here. I've actually never taken the time to look at everything. A whole lot of stuff. That looks like that's it over there. It is the only tractor I see back here. So we'll uh, jump in here. Alright, we're going to head on down to the farm. And uh, use this machine here. I believe this should have no issue pulling the cultivator, but it is costing me a little bit more than I anticipated. We'll get the old high crop fired up here, disconnected, and we'll move it out of the way. We'll just leave it down here for now. I have to come back and get it later. Looks like they need to clean this rental tractor here. Somebody has had it out. Getting it dirty. Alright, let's see if this will pull the cultivator. Oh yeah, no problem at all. Yeah, this is moving along just fine now. Hopefully I can get this done. It's a pretty big field here. Hopefully it won't take more than a half a day so that I don't go over the so I don't go over the clock there on the lease. Two thousand dollars hurts. Any more than that is really gonna be putting a crunch on the bank account. Alright, now we can finally do some work.
wonder A thing as good as what we have Is it a rule? What's good is worth the fighting There ain't no denying That you and I were made to last Falling in was easy How can Well, I have one more pass here to go. Uh, this tractor has done fantastic with this little cultivator so it has actually made pretty quick work of the field here hasn't taken too long definitely will get it back in time to meet their timer on the half day rental so it'll just be the two thousand dollars it actually looks like i'll need to turn and make one more pass down here at the end but we'll get this wrapped up and get the tractor back down to the dealership. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and purchase a planter. And try to go ahead and get some corn in the ground. I think that I'll have time to get that done before the day's over. So I can go ahead and do that and try to get the corn growing. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please be sure to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel if you hadn't done that already i do appreciate each of you for watching and i hope you have a blessed day